There's been a number of questions regarding the Elger County case of a municipal police officer who fatally shot Timothy Mitchell on July 14th. Namely, what exactly happened that night on Buckhorn Road and was Officer Schlabach really justified in using deadly force? TV6's Rebecca Hemmelstein has been investigating this case. She joins us now with an exclusive look at the video and audio of the incident. Rebecca? Steve, we filed a Freedom of Information Act request to get the police car dash cam video and 911 calls. Well, we got them, giving us more insight into what really happened that night in Munising. I went through the reports with Prosecutor Matt Weesey to see what went into determining it was a justified use of deadly force. After that, I went through the evidence with retired Marquette County Sheriff's Deputy Dave Kent for his expert opinion on the details of the case. We made numerous attempts to contact the Mitchell family, but they didn't want to comment for this report. So, here are the facts. July 14th, 5.20 p.m. A 911 call is placed reporting Timothy Mitchell was involved in a physical altercation in Christmas. The call stated Mitchell was highly intoxicated and drove away from the scene. 911 can help you. Yeah, I got a guy out here at Cobus Motors that's harassing Kevin, and uh, he's getting ready to take off in a burgundy four-door with a mirror gone off the passenger side. His name's Tim Mitchell. Has he but been he, drinking or anything? Or? Oh, yes, he has. 5.25 p.m., Alger County Sheriff's Office receives word of a munising police officer in pursuit of Mitchell. Officer Justin Schlaback spotted the vehicle and attempted a traffic stop. Um, subject sounds like he's pretty intoxicated. He is eastbound coming towards town. According to our caller, he's probably more than likely going to be coming all the way through town if you can be a well that vehicle. I'm clear. I'll look out for it. Mitchell fled, starting a vehicle pursuit through Munising towards Wetmore on M28. Base for five. We're over 100 mile an hour right now, coming up the hill towards Wetmore. I'm starting to lose them. Just got them in my sight here. Clear? There, I'm, I'm losing them here. I'm going to have to call this off here soon. Southbound on H13, then west on Buckhorn Road. Wait, he just crashed. He just crashed in the turns here. Send EMS, so I'll advise here in a second. Mitchell lost control of his vehicle and crashed into a ditch on Buckhorn Road near Doe Lake Road. You can see Mitchell's car on the right-hand side of the video. According to prosecutor Matt, we see the audio in Schlaubeck's vehicle hadn't been working for any of his calls that day, so there's no sound. According to Michigan State Police investigation, Mitchell gets out of the car, goes down to the ground, gets up, Schlaubeck takes a number of rapid steps forward to make sure Mitchell, who just crashed the car, is okay. At that point, Mitchell starts to get up and advances towards the officer, despite his repeated commands to stop and get on the ground. Officer Schlaubeck takes quick back steps and Mitchell responds, saying, quote, he will have to effing shoot him, unquote. Timothy Mitchell died from two shots to the chest. I asked Prosecutor Matt Weesey what he saw in the video to convince him Officer Schlaubach was right in his decision making. Weesey said he reviewed the tape through the eyes of the officer. If you notice, he takes back steps rather quickly, and he's still a good distance from his car. So the question now becomes, can I get away safely, or is this man who just committed a number of felonies serious about saying I'm going to have to shoot him because he's so desperate that he's willing to let me shoot him? rather than be apprehended. I then had retired Marquette County Sheriff's Deputy Dave Kent watch the tape and listen to the calls. They can't train you in an academy and prepare you for something like this. You can do all the scenarios you want and everything else, but when it comes down to you having to do that, I will tell you there's crazy things that go through your mind during that. Steve Kent was a deputy sheriff for almost 40 years. Tomorrow we'll talk with him about his experiences and if he has ever been in a similar situation to the Timothy Mitchell case. All right, thanks a lot, Rebecca. There's a lot more on this case, including all of the 911 tapes, as well as the dash cam video on our website at UpperMichiganSource.com, and you'll have the rest of that report tomorrow night. Yes, all right, thanks a lot, Rebecca.